Kuldika has been really awesome town. This is really old town and we actually read something history about the place. There's a factory called Vulcans that made matches in the past days and after that they started doing timber stuff. So plywood and everything for the carpenters. And that's the history of this town. Came to look at his search actually. Huge, Huge church. Another brick in the wall. <laughs> yeah? That's the song of this church. <laughs> yes, we can continue to the rapids of Kuldika and then going to go to Budokin Blur. This is some kind of Eastern European way that there's these garages everywhere. So I think everyone has say, their own garage and they store their stuff there. It's always good to keep your eyes open so you can always find those water taps. So we have been now in 26 countries and none of them we have had problems finding fresh water. So installing some kind of rain collecting system or similar systems are ridiculous you don't need them because there's a good tap water everywhere what you can take in your tank and spring water which is even better <laughs> these kind of cities are the cities that we like the most it's really old and a bit rubbly and I don't know people less people <laughs> actually there's these streets are completely empty it's 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. at the moment and nobody's here it's a bit strange yeah, but I like the old buildings that they are, have restored the old windows on the outer side and they have just changed the inner windows so it looks like old one but it has modern mm, luxury in it in it old doors are my weakness oh this looks so great This is a good example of the Latvian, Estonian and Lithuanian languages. The difference. Latvia. Okay, windscreen washed in liquid. Don't know what that means. But Estonian suvine tuule glasi de puhastus vedelik. Almost like Finnish. Tuuli lasi is Finnish and puhistus neste, puhistus vesi is the Finnish word for it. And again, Lithuanian, no point in Finnish language. So it's really hard to know here in Latvian, Lithuania, what those words mean. But in Estonian, I can see immediately. So cheap food. Yeah, we bought a lot of fresh products and nothing cost anything. Yeah. I think compared to Finnish prices, this is more than half. 35 euros, and we bought two bags full of fresh goodies and ice creams and a couple of beers. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Turn it to totally different kind of prices when we came out of Riga. Riga was like maybe 30% cheaper than in Finland, but here it's more than half. Fetachi is so cheap, I'm so jealous. Oh, like yeah, 5 euros per kilo. But Sarah doesn't like the bread that has uh, sugar, sugar yeah. or it's, uh, it's brown sugar that they use on the dough. Yeah. And, and we bought Russian cheese. 
It says it's Russian cheese. I don't know why it's Russian cheese. Maybe because fat percent is very high. <laughs> yeah. And they got these funny ice cream cones. I haven't seen this, these ones in Finland, but really great taste. Yeah, the ice creams are to die for here. Yeah. Like full of flavors. This is like strawberry punch banana. And this tastes like banana strawberry, not just ice cream. 35 euros. This is ridiculous. But one thing that we noticed is that the prices really uh, vary between different cities. In Finland they don't vary at all. At all. So it's the same price in every part of the Finland. So yeah. Now we just have to fit everything. Mm -hmm. And one one funny note, if you go to small store, the prices are same as in big store. Yeah. In Finland if you go to small store the price can be like double. The in smaller the store the more expensive it is. Yeah, here so it is. That's why we go always to huge supermarkets. Yeah. And even if the small markets have all everything that we need. Chicken index, we forgot to check that. Yeah. We don't really eat chicken. Anymore. Yeah. During our trip we ate chicken like every day. Oh, here's a bad apple. Had apple in one apple. I will eat it away. Okay. Ah, Garsberg. 5% Garsberg half a liter can 60 cents. 2.2 <laughs> euros in Finland. Yeah. <laughs> Avocados 40 cents per piece. We love avocado. I bought cherry ice cream, but this is cranberry and not cherry. Cherry everything. Cherry is not every. This tastes like Russian. Russian? Ah, yeah. Now it came to Russian side. Cream cheese. But yeah, I'm gonna go actually to me. Because there was no craft beer, local craft beer, and I wanted <laughs> so I bought I think one beer that is local one. It's normal lager, so I want some. Yeah. And it's about a Europe. Yeah, in big cities you can find easily craft beer, for example, Ipas and Ales and everything. But here is only dark beer, amber lager, and normal lager. This is three things that you can find from every. Yeah, normal. Store. Nothing else. Searching our boondocking place at the moment. Uh, actually, it's an old bridge, but the way there. It's a bit complicated. Uh, there's uh, fine sand here, so I don't know if we can get up. Hopefully, I'll go check if this goes even worse than this. I think we can make that with lots of speed. So, this is the reason why it's closed. They are building new bridge. Yeah, the rest of is over there. There's fire bits and picnic tables and everything on the corner of that river. But it's closed. No. Sometimes these wild camping spots doesn't work, and you have to go around and find another place. Not, not that very often. This was actually uh, listened to on duties.lv, which is a really great site for finding good wild camping spots. Have to go back to the van and think again what we're gonna do. We are not far away from the city. It's uh, approximately three kilometers that we came to through that little country road. But maybe we go back there and think again. We might stay overnight 
near city central there was actually a parking lot on top of that hill what a tourist in Kurzeme and we are what a tourist because we are going to go to swim in the river Naked man! <laughs> yes, we decided to come here. So Just... We here. So we came here. <laughs> yeah, that's a French dog and name is Lola. Nova! <laughs> we got a Swiss army knife here. And there's a, there's a French with a huge heimer behind us. So, we are here trapped between two campers oh. let's make food guess what <laughs> Articus.